Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be going over the top five projects I'd recommend for beginner to intermediate programmers to do. These projects are really in no particular order, but I definitely recommend doing at least two to three of these because I've done all of these and these projects have helped tremendously in order for me to problem solve and as to grow as a developer. Without further ado, let's hop into it. So number one, I'd recommend creating a game. A game is a pretty generic project to do, however, it's a really great project for beginners and this was actually how I learned programming. Um, I learned it through building games. And one game I'd recommend creating is a snake game. It's a pretty simple thing to do and once you're done grasping the fundamentals, this is a great project to do. Um, I'd recommend this for both beginner and intermediate and if you um, would like to use tutorials, I'd recommend that you do so if you're a complete beginner since um, tutorials will help you understand it better. So at number two, I'd recommend creating a website. A website is a great way to show what you've done, and especially for programmers, I'd say it's a must because in order to attract people to your work, a portfolio website can play a large role in that. You can create a design and then code it out. Keep a good amount of pages or sections, but definitely make sure to have a project section and a contact page so people can view your work and contact you. Um, also be sure to make, make it responsive for tablets and mobile devices because you want to make sure it looks good on all screens. Um, and this is a project that I'd recommend for beginners. At the number three spot, I'd recommend creating a social network site. So if you've ever wanted to build something with similar functionality like Reddit, Instagram, or Facebook, you can build your own social network site, and this can be anything. Um, you can make a blog app, an image posting platform, a dating app, etc. Um, some tools I'd recommend for making a social network site are Flask, Django, or Express, which is in JavaScript. And I'd recommend this project for intermediate programmers. Um, this project will also show you what backend looks like and it gives a clear understanding and how a backend and frontend interact with each other. For number four, I'd recommend creating a chat app. You can use any language you'd prefer, but I recommend using JavaScript and Socket.io for chatting because those two work really well together and this is a really fun project to do and I enjoyed doing this myself. Um, I'd recommend this for intermediate programmers because you truly need to grasp the fundamentals well in order to understand well. I'd recommend using documentation for this because the docs for Socket.io are really great and are really helpful. Last but not least, I'd suggest creating a password generator. A password generator is a pretty generic project, but it's a fun project to do. I'd recommend using Python or JavaScript to make this because it's really easy to make it in those languages. Also, it's better to make a UI instead of just running it in a terminal so that it looks nicer. Um, I'd recommend this project for beginners because it shows you how to think and problem solve and kind of gets you prepared as to how programming works. Now, to conclude, that's it for this video. I hope you got some project ideas to do and I hope that these will benefit you in the future. This video was shorter compared to other types of videos I make, but there are definitely more coming, so stay tuned. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.